The Phoenix Suns just defeated the Dallas Mavericks 130 to 126 in what could have been the game of the year. Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant face off for the first matchup since being traded to their new respective teams. Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Luka Doncic all had 30 plus points tonight. This game was shot for shot down the stretch and it was for sure in the contention of game of the year. We're going to get into all that in today's video, but before we do, I just just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on last night's recap that was in contention for the game of the year and that video saw so much success we have a lot of new faces here and if you are new here please be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button as we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers i'm going to continue to try to stay consistent for you guys with these recaps so i'm gonna to try to post every day for the month of march i hope you guys can hold me to that without further ado let's get straight into talking about this game with the victors the phoenix suns i don't know how many times i'm gonna get on here for a Suns recap and say that Kevin Durant is the most polished and efficient superstar but my lord Kevin is an absolute gem to watch you guys better appreciate it while he's here Kevin tonight on 17 shots and only 12 makes had 37 points he grabbed seven rebounds and had three assists only two turnovers as well he also played 40 minutes tonight which is the most he's played since coming back from that injury very very good signs for this Phoenix Suns team. I do think it's really, really interesting how he, in the first couple games with the Suns, came off a lot of pin downs and a lot of screens and was kind of taking shots off the passes and not so much off the dribbles. But this game, we saw pretty much only isolation possessions. I don't know if that's a testament to him just getting healthy and going back to that style of play. And maybe in the first games, he was just kind of ramping things up and it's easier for him to come off those pin downs. But I digress. He hit what in my opinion was pretty much the game winner you know he hits that game well it wasn't really the game winner until Luca went on and missed that shot with five seconds left but it was 125 to 125 or no 126 to 126 I believe it was and Kevin ended up hitting that crazy mid-range shot over Tim Hardaway Jr. before Luca went on to miss his layup which we'll get to talking about when we talk about the Mavs that was insane but I digress amazing night from Kevin also another amazing Amazing night from Devin Booker. That's back to back to back games with above 35 points. Tonight, he finished with 36 points, 10 huge assists, and five rebounds. And he did that 36 point performance on only one three point make tonight. He was absolutely cooking tonight, getting to his spot in the mid range, being the aggressor. That's something I really love about Devin Booker's game is that the past couple months, especially, he has just grown so much. I remember there was once upon a time a conversation of is Clay Thompson or Devin Booker the better offensive talent and it's just night and day at their points obviously Clay has suffered a couple you know crazy injuries over the last three to four years but I digress Kevin was or sorry Devin was absolutely on fire tonight and when the Suns were letting this game slip I saw Devin just attacking hey, the weaknesses for the Dallas Mavericks and every single time he had a mismatch he was going right at their body taking those mid-range shots driving to the basket taking contact Contact. If the contact wasn't there, he was creating contact. Absolutely love to see that in my superstar Devin Booker if I'm the Phoenix Suns. He didn't have the best offensive tonight, Josh Okoge, but I do want to just give him his flowers on the defensive side of the ball. He was putting on a defensive masterclass in the first half on Kyrie Irving. I loved his active hands. I loved the way he hedges screens and kind of predicts where they are before they happen. He's obviously listening to his teammates on the defensive side of the ball when they're calling for what, what's going where. He was moving in the passing lanes and just sticking his hands in the passing lanes and disrupting a lot of passes. He caused a lot of turnovers for the Dallas Mavericks tonight. I have not seen someone guard Kyrie Irving like that well in a very, very long time. Tonight was another weird night for Chris Paul on the offensive side of things. He finished with 11 points and 7 assists, and 11 points is the most he scored since the All-Star break. He had two pretty big threes in the fourth quarter. But it just still looks like he's, I don't want to say scared to shoot the ball, but it kind of feels like he knows that he doesn't. And I guess that's not a bad thing because obviously if you have Kevin and Devin combining for 70 plus points on a night like tonight, why would you be shooting the ball? But just 
very very interesting that chris is kind of falling off of that and he barely was even facilitating the ball up until the fourth quarter he grabbed a couple big rebounds tonight chris i'm always going to support you because you're just one of my favorite players of all time and you have a great sense and feel for the game and i also love how into it he is even at the age of 37 there's just a lot of emotion on this phoenix suns team deandre ayton another person who since the acquisition of kevin durant has not looked to be super aggressive on offense tonight he took six shots finished with nine points and 16 huge rebounds that is something i definitely love he also played super well to end that fourth quarter even though he picked up a fifth foul it's really hard for big men these days to kind of play aggressive while they're at five fouls but De deandre Aiden did an absolute wonderful job of that another person i want to give a shout out to is ish wainwright tonight he legit looked like he was going to get a dnp and not for injuries or anything like that it looked like it was going to be a coach's dnp just did not want to play him tonight but then at the end of the third quarter as things were kind of getting out of hand he checks in and hit three huge or sorry two th Th two three-pointers sorry i'm stuttering over my words this was such a crazy game two three-pointers at the end of the third quarter to kind of bring that cut that lead down and then in the fourth quarter he hit two more he went four for five tonight in only 14 minutes he scored 12 points and ironically at a box plus minus of plus 12. it was a really really good night for the phoenix suns tonight i saw a lot of things i really liked especially down low in the first quarter they outscored the mavs 22 to 4 in the paint what a win for the phoenix suns i mean i honestly thought thought this was Dallas's ball game the entire game all the way through but when you have Kevin Durant and Devin Booker I guess you're never really out of it uh the last thing I want to say is great job by coach Monty Williams tonight again like I said bringing in Ish Wainwright and campaign and Terrence Ross just kind of switching things around and trying things that were and were not working I really love that when someone's not hard-headed as a coach and they just love to try a lot of different things and kind of tinker with the lineup but that's all I got to say about the Phoenix Suns now let's move on to the Dallas Mavericks Mavericks. What a game for the Mavs. I mean, I honestly thought they were going to win this one. They were down in the first quarter and then they had an amazing second and third and even a pretty good fourth quarter tonight. However, Luka looked really rough to start this game. He made his first shot of mid-range on Devin Booker, and then he missed six straight, starting one for seven from the field in the first quarter. But to be fair, after his first make, he did wince a little bit down the court as he was making his way up and down, and I think he was playing through an injury tonight. Second quarter, it was very, very visible that he was hurting, but he still played through it and was facilitating for his team. I liked that Jason Kidd was encouraging his team to push it and move it in transition, just how I said I liked my Monty's coaching tonight. I actually like Jason Kidd's vocal tonight. Just him being vocal and telling his team, you know, this is what you need to do. We got to push in transition. We got to move fast. Tim Hardaway Jr. was letting that thing fly tonight, as he always does. And he gave some really great minutes off the bench tonight for the Dallas Mavericks. Much needed points. He averages eight three point attempts a night off the bench, which is insanely high. But tonight he was knocking them down. He finished with 21 points and hit six huge three pointers. Uh, one person I want to shout out out quick is Christian Wood. Tonight he finished with 17 points and only 22 minutes. I just love Christian Wood's game. He's really great at getting to his spot, really great at creating contact. He plays with a lot of energy. He plays that bully ball sometimes when he needs to. I was I wish that he would see more minutes. I think it's kind of weird since the acquisition of Kyrie Irving. He has received a lot less minutes, but you know, I'm not the head coach over there. I'm not going to be making those decisions. I just wish he was playing more. The Mavs, I think the bright side of today's game was the defense they were making the suns work for every basket tonight and especially in the second half they gave up a lot of points in the first quarter but they were swarming kevin durant and devin booker and almost doubling everything they had fast rotations they were really great on defense you know as a whole team tonight the suns they shot very poorly from three tonight and the last thing i want to talk about is just the two superstars on dallas Kyrie and luca you guys both had some pretty slow starts tonight but finished a great game Kyrie had 30 points seven assists and four rebounds on a pretty efficient a night shot a little over 50 percent from the field luca one for nine from three incredibly inefficient free throw merchant tonight though he went 17 for 19 which is amazing because he's not the best free throw shooter it's one of the only holes in his game had a pretty Luka night you know he went 34 and nine points nine or sorry 34 points nine rebounds and four assists this was just in a five turnovers as well I don't think this is a bad loss at all if you're Dallas you guys played great defense tonight you had a slow first start but you kicked it in a second gear and kind of took this game back 
Kevin Durant hit a crazy shot down the stretch that eventually was the dagger and sunk you guys. I don't think you guys got to hang your head too low. You just got to step it up. You know, you got Reggie Bullock two for eight from three, Kyrie three for eight, Luka went one for nine. Just not an overall great game for the Dallas Mavericks efficiency wise. But other than that, it was a great game. But what do you guys think? We got a great slate for this Sunday. I'm going to edit this video and probably go back to watching more hoops. Again, thank you guys so much for the support on last night's video. And also, shout out Atlas. You are two for two on the predictions. Last night, you were correct. And tonight, almost to the T, you were correct. He said, I got the Suns winning by five points. They won by six tonight. Amazing job by the Suns tonight. Great game for the Mavs as well. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay happy, health, and blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Sunday. Peace.